vacation we're going on vacation I'm gonna be on a beach sipping my drink for free what is up you guys welcome back to the channel my name is Kayla Jukic if you're new if you're not hello again it is literally raining outside right now middle of December like what the heck is this weather been I'm honestly not complaining though because I would take this rain over like freezing cold minus snow piles everywhere ice everywhere over that today is monday december 18th and i am leaving for vacation on thursday i'm so freaking excited i've been talking about this a lot on all of my other social media platforms but i am going on a 12 day cruise for christmas and new year's this is going to be our longest cruise we've ever done so I don't know. I'm very excited, but I know I'm probably going to overpack. So we are going on the Norwegian Sun. We're leaving from Baltimore. We're actually going to be driving there and then hopping on the boat. The drive is only eight hours, but maybe I'll take you guys along with me. I'm going to vlog it, obviously. So this video, we're just preparing for it. We're packing for it. So I'm going to take you through all of the things I got to do. So first stop, I am at Burlington Center. I have to do something that's not related to this video. I need to go drop off some stuff at Canada post and it's in this mall so I'm gonna go do that and while I'm here I'm gonna stop at Dollarama and Shoppers Drug Mart to pick up things that I need for the trip so I didn't end up going to Dollarama I'm at the second pit stop we are at Maple View Mall and I got to go to Sephora and I want to look for some shirts for my husband holy frig the mall was absolutely crazy so I'll do a haul after but I went to Sephora and then I also went to Zara and I got some stuff for the hubby for the trip I'll show you guys after I am literally starving so I picked up Osmos as I was leaving. I just got chicken on the rocks. Look at that. It smells so good. I'm honestly going to eat a little bit of this in the car. And then I'm going to try and get my nails done. I'm sitting outside of my place right now. I don't have an appointment. So hopefully they can take me. If not, maybe I'll come back tomorrow or I'll figure it out. Right now my nails are absolutely disgusting. Like look at this. What even is that? They have been so outgrown. The left hand is not that bad. It's just this right hand. Some of them have broke and just... I've been loafing because I knew I was going away. But I'm thinking instead of shellac, maybe I'll do gel or maybe I'll get some tips so they look nice. I was thinking maybe a chrome. I kind of don't want to do white, maybe bubble bath. I don't know. I'm so indecisive, but I'm going to go in now and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm back home from the nail salon and I know I said I wasn't going to do white, but it's an off-white color with some chrome. I literally always do this because I say I'm not going to do white and then I end up with something similar. It's not exactly white. So I went with Funny Bunny, which is an off-white color. It's an OPI color, I believe. So I just did the plain one on my toes. I got a pedicure. It felt so freaking good. And then I did Funny Bunny chrome on my actual fingernails. I got a manicure and honestly, it's really good. It's so hard for me to get other colors just because like if I get say for example like hot pink and then I'm wearing like an orange dress for me, it just bothers me. Like in my brain, I have a little bit of OCD when it comes to it and I just can't do it. When I was leaving the salon, they gave me a little Christmas gift that says thank you. I have no idea what it is, so I'm gonna open it up. Oh, so cute. It's a green tea lotion, nourishing and rejuvenating hand and body lotion. Mmm, that smells good. What's that? Mommy get a gift from the nail salon. Yeah. I will actually bring this with me on my trip. Jesus, sorry. I just got so interrupted. First of all, hey. The cleaning lady was vacuuming our floor in our hallway and Kobe wouldn't stop barking and then I got a message from a girl she was here to pick up an ornament so I walked Kobe I brought it out to her this little guy's soaking now I'm gonna quickly show you everything that I bought for the trip go back he's gonna have the zoomies right now that's why I know because he's wet and he just got home from a, a walk no zoomies I went to shoppers drug mart Kobe I got two things of sunscreen 30 SPF and then I also bought the lotion one because my husband likes the spray but sometimes yeah I feel like it misses even though like we rub it in so I just bought this banana boat one and then I got some like eyebrow pencil in the soft brown from Revlon from Sephora oh my goodness okay I think I talked about this in another vlog but I really wanted like a heat protectant because I've been doing a lot of waves curls and now I also have that Revlon root booster to do blowouts so I bought the Moroccan oil perfect 
fence. I also did need to restock on my Glow Recipe toner, so I got that. I also wanted to buy a highlighter. Usually, I think the one I had previously was from Hourglass, but I just could not find it. I don't know if they were sold out or if they discontinued it or whatever. So I ended up buying one from Rare Beauty. I figure I like a lot of Rare Beauty products. So I got the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter in the color Exhilarate. That's kind of what it looks like. Very cute. And then the last thing I got was the Glow Recipe Plum Plump. It's like a lip gloss balm for your lips. And now quickly I'm gonna show you what I bought for the hubby. So I went to Zara specifically to buy him just plain shirts, a black and white one because he's outgrown his other ones or like they just look kind of raggedy because he's had them for a while. So I'm gonna throw those ones out, replace it with these ones. I bought him this shirt. I don't know if he's gonna like it, but I bought a very beautiful green dress for Christmas to wear. So this would be perfect. We can just match each other. And then the last thing I bought him are these joggers from Zara. He has them in a few different other colors like khaki, brown, whatever. So I found these like army green ones. So I bought those for him because he loves wearing them. They, you can dress them up, but it can also be kind of casual casual and also they're very comfortable. He can try them on when he gets home. If he doesn't like anything, I'll just return it, but I think he will. Hello, hello you guys. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday and we are gonna start packing. This is what my floor is looking like right now. So I am gonna make sure I fit everything in here. So this is my luggage and then that's usually what I use for my carry-on. And then I might also bring a little extra backpack. We're gonna see. My floor and everywhere is honestly crazy. Like look at all of this. I was trying to organize everything. I don't think I'm gonna show you, but like these are all of my bikinis. You guys know I've said this in like a hundred packing vlogs, but I have a hundred bikinis So I literally picked out 12 because I'm gone for 12 days. So that's that then this is like cover-up So like cover-up dresses bandanas little like skirt things all of that is in there I've already packed away my daytime outfits I'm not going to show you guys those just because it was honestly a mission to get them in these two packing bags Also to mention my packing cubes these guys I bought in a pack from Amazon I will link them below. They are literally a lifesaver in that bag, I have socks, underwear, bras, so you don't need to see that. Also pajamas, sunscreen, and then because we are going away for Christmas and New Year's, I'm gonna be bringing some Santa hats and New Year's gear. I have a lot to pack, obviously, because it's pretty much two weeks worth of traveling. So this is hopefully just to give you some inspiration on things that I bring for my cruise. If there's anything that I can link for you outfit-wise, I will put it down below. This one I definitely won't be able to link, but my husband bought this dress for me when we went to Vegas in August for our first wedding anniversary. It is honestly so pretty. I've never worn it yet, so I'm super excited to get to wear it. Now, this dress is what I plan on wearing for New Year's. This is from Lulu's, so it's black and it has like silver glitter on it. It's like a really low back, so it's so cute. It's form-fitting, but it's actually still a little bit stretchy so it's definitely still comfy this dress is definitely out of my comfort zone for a few reasons one the color two the material and just the overall style it's very like thick and flowy i'm just trying to be a little bit more open and vulnerable with my style i'm just trying new things so wanted to give that a go i honestly tend to gear towards dresses for cruises just because it's easy and comfortable so this is another one that i picked up from shopo it is floral and what attracted me to it is just the color with a tan it's summery it's so fun and then obviously some nights i want to be more casual and just super comfortable so i bought this this maxi skirt from garage and then I bought the matching top with it it's like a off the shoulder top and it's long sleeve so I thought that would be cute for days that I'm just like tired or I just want to feel comfy if I'm bloated or whatever it is oh my god this was a mission to get I had to send this set back twice to Shopo because I kept getting the wrong size, which was so weird, but I got the right size finally. So it is a white two-piece set. It's gonna look so good 
with a tan. It's like a very short crop top and then it's wide legged long pants and the pants have pockets. Another comfy outfit. I got this two piece set from Shein. Honestly, I actually really like this. Like I have already worn it at home and I think it's like so cute for fall. Again, just for a night when I want to be comfortable, but also like some nights it's actually cold on the boat or you feel cold. So this will be good because it's like knitted. The last thing I got from Shein is this zebra dress. I actually initially bought this I was thinking to wear it like when we go off the boat but it's actually really cute like if I put like a white cardigan or like a shrug on top I think it would be so cute to wear on the boat for dinner this was also another find from TJ Maxx when I went to Buffalo it was actually in the clearance section for like $25 because the time that I bought it this corset part it was missing this like string so I added my own ribbon and I put it together and it literally fit me it's my size it has this like flowy I don't know how to describe this skirt but it's really cute again it's something different than I would normally wear but like it's actually really cute and I love the color and then last but not least because we are going away for Christmas I bought this beautiful green dress so it's long sleeve and it's like pleated material and the print on it like if you look close up it's almost like green snake print it's super cool so I'm gonna wear this to dinner on Christmas day which is gonna be so cute I'll also quickly show you the gym outfits that I'm bringing I don't know how much I'm gonna work out but I'm assuming probably this much like six or seven days first outfit is this green set from honor active this outfit we have elfly flare leggings they're so stinking comfortable oh my god and then muscle nation black top and then the rest is muscle nation so these three are actually new sets i love these colors like this one's bonday blue that's fudge and then that one is i forget the name but it, i think it's crush red actually it's super nice then I have this striped one, and then I have some like basketball shorts with a light blue sports bra. I need to seriously put this shit away, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys the shoes. I'm probably bringing too much. These are my absolute favorite. They're so free and comfy from DSW or D Designer Warehouse, whatever. Anyways, Aldo, I bought these from Hudson's Bay. These are from Shop Cider. Those are from Browns, I believe. Shop Cider, can't remember. Probably Walmart. <laughs> unpacking bag is a bit heavy so I'm gonna wait until my husband gets home and see if I need to reassess or if I can put something in his bag that is my little carry-on I put some stuff in there as well honest to god it's a really good thing that we're not taking a flight because this bag for sure would be over the weight limit good morning guys happy Wednesday we are finally leaving for our trip late tonight well I guess it's tonight for me because I'm probably not gonna sleep much, but early tomorrow morning, I think we're gonna leave at like 3 a.m. So it's just easier to say late tonight. And now I just got to my lash girl's house. I have a lash appointment, as you can see. I've been rocking the no lashes for probably about a month. It was very much needed. It's been so nice to have a break from them, but also I'm ready to have them back for my trip. I'm just gonna be doing classic lashes, so they're gonna look very natural. So let's head in. And lashes are done look at them they look so good I love them it honestly just feels good to have them back like the break was nice but like we love it all right guys it is 9 11 and we are done everything so far literally feeling so sad we went to Brampton to drop Kobe off at my dad's house we had dinner with them and then we came home we just cleaned our car we put the luggages in and we're ready we're literally gonna change and go to bed because we are getting up at like 2.45 and planning to leave by 3 a.m. to a road trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this prep and pack vlog with me. I literally look like a hot mess right now. Like I need some sleep. And next time you guys see me, I will be in Baltimore on the cruise. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to me down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I am so excited for the cruise vlogs.